Father God is sending a lot of financial blessing down the path of his faithful servants. I'm led to release this word because, first of all, I, I released the word yesterday on harvest and I released my testimony of what happened, financial harvest. So if you haven't seen that video, you need to go watch that. Right now, I'm led to release this word about the financial blessing, the money that is coming to the faithful ones. And this is, this is not going to be ordinary money, you all. And even the way it's going to come, it is really going to shock a lot of you because there are some things that are literally happening uh, to us as a, as a church in my own life that <laughs> you all, I can't even, even begin to share everything. But I want to just release this word just to encourage somebody. You that have been maybe doubtful of if the Lord was really going to lift you up from the place of poverty um, and, 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 and just, you know, provide for you. There are some of you that have been doubtful. You are literally in your kairos but you don't know in the moment where you're just going to see money appear in your account um in your uh, purse and you're going to wonder how even people are going to begin to contact you and request for your banking information just so they can credit your account and you're going to wonder how uh, i don't understand it's going to be your statement uh, your declaration even from now is I don't understand but I don't understand but I don't understand and even when it happens you're going to also you know begin to, uh, to uh, declare to yourself um, I can't believe this is happening to me God is sending their money to you God is sending money wealth financial blessings of some specific um person some people that you may not even know of um the lord is going to be sending money from companies and organizations that have never stood by him they never represent him people that re that, that are really all about glorifying the devil for example through um you know the lgbtq community right there are organizations that have been standing with them saying what they're doing is okay and all of that companies organizations authorities um you know uh, uh, communities okay god is going to be sending the wealth of the sinners to you if you look in the word of god in uh, proverbs it literally just lets us know plain and simple that the wealth of the sinners of the ungodly will be transferred to the righteous many of you are not even ready for this but the Lord has put it right in your face. But many of you have actually seen this in the word, but you don't take it serious. Let me let you know now is the hour and it's the time. Especially in this midst of the year. In the middle of the year is when the Lord really comes down to blessing his people. The ones that have been faithful, committed, dedicated, loving him. What eyes have not seen is coming down for us. For those that truly love God, they are all about the kingdom, all about serving the Lord, all about just wanting people to know about Jesus, praying for others, interceding, seeking the Lord through prayer, fasting, just all about righteousness. You need to get ready. Isaiah has already told us about the wealth of the ungodly, the wealth of the Gentiles coming to us, the abundance of the sea being torn to you. This is the hour, chosen one, faithful one, faithful man of God, faithful woman of God. You need to arise truly as the word of God says. Arise and lift up your head. And it's time for you to literally run with the things of God, run with the things of the kingdom. Keep pressing in, keep praying, keep fasting. Now it's time to, for you to do all of this and more. Because something major, something mighty, something massive, big is coming to you. God is about to change everything. This blessing, this massive blessing, massive harvest that is coming to you is going to change a lot of things. It is going to shift a lot of things, including your mentality. The Lord is going to be, you see, everything Father God has allowed in your life up until this moment may have seemed like some kind of punishment. But listen to me, the Lord has not been punishing you. The Lord has been preparing you. He has allowed you to go through some situations or 
uh, delay, frustration, and all of that. And you're like, why am I going through this? But the Lord is like, you don't even know what's coming. I'm preparing you. Many times when Father God, when it looks like Father God isn't doing anything and you're going through the most, the Lord is just allowing you to be built up for what he has already prepared for you in front of you. Father God cannot just let you come and you know place your two feet on the ground where there's like wealth and blessings and everything but then you haven't gone through nothing your character isn't built up patience perseverance you know spirit of you know prayerfulness and all of that no the lord wants you to be a prepared person so that when the blessing comes through when the res when the responsibilities come true when the opportunities come true then you have a strong backbone then you have a life of discipline you have self-control right you have you know a personality of trust and dependency reliability you've built up capacity as well right so um and yes a lot of the things that have been happening in your lives have been tests as well. Understand, some of them have been tests. The Lord has been watching. And even now, he's still even watching. Okay? This is the hour of Jeremiah. Um, I believe it's 1.11. But I'll put all the scriptures I mentioned in the bar below. This is the hour of Jeremiah 1.11. The Lord God is watching to see that his word is performed. It is time for the performance of the Lord God Almighty in your lives. This is the hour. And I want you to declare by faith, this is the hour for the performance of my Abba Father. This is the hour for the performance of my Abba Father. This is the hour for the performance of my Abba Father. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we love you, we thank you, and we bless your name. Thank you for this word. Thank you for your word in scriptures concerning the wealth and the blessings that is coming unto the body of Christ in this hour. Oh Lord, our God, how awesome and loving and wonderful that you are of a father, a provider, a protector, a keeper, a strengthener, everything. Jehovah Jireh, we just say thank you, Lord. And we pray against every evil power that wants to resist or hinder or stop our breakthrough we come by the blood of the lamb of god we challenge those powers by the blood of jesus christ of nazareth we decree and declare lord that what you want to bring forth in our lives lord in this hour in this kairos of our lives it shall come forth in jesus mighty holy name we give you praise and glory and honor i ask lord that you have mercy upon the hearer of this world even right now and bless everyone that has been loving you serving you and faithful and committed unto you bless your people O lord that their lives may glorify you in jesus mighty holy name now i decree and declare over every single one of you that this word is for i decree in jesus mighty name and i prophesy over your lives the wealth of the gentiles are coming to you the blessings and the finances and the wealth and the money of sinners, the ungodly, they shall locate you. The finance and the money you need for what you need it for, for your home, for your business, for your family, for your ministry, for the church, it will come to you. May the blessings of the Lord God come quickly. And may the blessings of Abba Father make you rich, mightily rich. That you now become a blessing unto nations. The same way God made Abraham a blessing unto nations. Because of the blessing of the Lord upon Abraham. Many around Abraham were blessed. And this shall be your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Do not forget to continue to give. Continue to live a life of giving. Continue to live a life of loving and serving the body of Christ. Never be only just about yourself because this is the, these are the persons that Father God wants to lift up, wants to bring wealth to, the givers, the lovers of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. May God bless you. May God prosper you all. 
may God keep you may God increase you and cause you to multiply in Jesus mighty holy name and I cover all your finances with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the Lord will show himself mighty in your life in this season in Jesus holy name be blessed shalom